Some of you watching this may end up actually working in a dealing room. So I just want to briefly cover two things you'll come across. The first is very obvious and has been discussed elsewhere. And this is when a currency is trading at a premium or a discount. Well, the currency with the lower interest rate will compensate you by having the higher forward FX rate. It's just mathematics. So this means if you are going to have a higher forward FX rate, you'll be getting stronger, so you'll be trading at a premium. Similarly, if you have a high interest rate, that's great, but mathematically, the currency will be trading at a weaker forward FX rate. So the currency will be trading at a discount from now. Now, when you see the forward points, the forward FX points, if they go from low on the left-hand side to a higher number on the right-hand side, you add the points. If the currency is going from high number of forward FX points on the left to a lower number, you subtract the FX points, you will be trading at a discount. Now imagine if the interest differentials on both currencies were exactly the same, there was no difference at all. That means the forward FX rate and the spot FX rate would be exactly the same. Well, sometimes you will find it where some currencies have very, very similar FX rates. Now, if the FX difference was zero, you would say the currency, the forward rate would be trading at par. There's no change, there are no forward points to add on or subtract. But of course, we have bid offer to take into account. So the forward FX rate could be a little bit below par, a negative number, to a little bit above par. Now, what will sometimes be seen on the screens, instead of writing, for example, minus 2 plus 1, it would be written as 2, 1, AP, around par. So if you imagine you have par, a 0 in the middle, you have minus 2, around par, to plus 1. So minus 2, plus 1. So it's just written as 2, slash 1, AP, around par. So it's just a bit of terminology you're likely to come across.